السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ یا سعیدی وعلیکم السلام و رحمۃ اللہ از دیر اے ریالٹی آف لاؤڈ رنگنگ ان دا ایئرس وائل میڈیٹیٹنگ یا اینی ٹائم دیر از اے ریالٹی فار آل ساؤنڈز اینڈ دا ریالٹی آف ساؤنڈز دیٹ ایوری تھنگ ہیز اے وائبریشن ایوری تھنگ ہیز اے این اینرجی سسٹم And once we begin to fine tune in tafakkur, we're opening the spiritual hearing, spiritual seeing, spiritual sense and feeling. That's why people will begin to feel through their soul what they didn't feel with their physicality. As soon as they begin to meditate just a few minutes every day, they begin to hear what they didn't hear with their physical ears and then through their heart and their spiritual vision begin to see what they didn't see with their physical eyes. And these are just some of the fine tunings. That once you begin to open spiritual hearing, there's a sensation of a buzzing that you experience. When somebody is speaking about you, there's a vibration and a buzz that begins to come. So that's one understanding of, of some sounds that people begin to hear. There's also an energy protection once you become a little bit more advanced and you dress yourself with energies and lights, there's a spiritual alarm. that will occur. That when you're in a position and the energy is not correct, something's trying to enter into your vicinity, there's an immense vibrational sound because it's a conflicting energy that's trying to enter into that area. So means that once we go into the spiritual realm, the energies and the sound of those vibrations that the soul is picking up through spiritual hearing, then they have many different understandings and many different realities. But that's why in all of these, not to focus on this or that, but the main is to master the connection with the shaykhs. So that you're not entering in the world of light and the world of unseen without a guide. Everything has to be with the presence of the guide. That the first step is to master the condition in which I see the guide in front of me. I'm asking to be connected, I'm asking that my heart to be connected because I'm familiar with you, I listen to you, I've heard from your realities that keep my heart to be connected. If you cannot establish that connection then God help you trying to connect with everything you don't see. If the one you see you can't connect with, how can you connect with something that you can't see, have not seen and, and that can be very dangerous. So that's the whole focus, that's why the tafakkur and muraqabah is to the connection with the shaykh, feel the heart of the shaykh, to be in the presence of the shaykhs, to be in the presence of all the shaykhs of Naqshbandiyya that you feel that you're with the Khawjagan masters and that their reality and their nazar is dressing, their madad is supporting and alhamdulillah, inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa Rahmatullah. What is the reality behind the phoenix bird in Islam? Well, we have that uh, many articles on that and I think many of the Asian subcontinent culture has that as their logo on their airplanes, on their air force, on everything. And what in Iran or Huma or Farsi is called the Huma. The phoenix bird is the Huma and in our nasheed we have Humayr Rahmah, Ali is Humayr Rahmah. Imam Ali salam is the phoenix of Allah which is the bird of war and the bird of warfare. It's the bird of Divinely protection and the Divinely fires from Jahannam in which nothing on this earth can contain it. That everything from this earth will be burned by it if it should try to harm it. So it has an immensity, that's why I think they have a poem from Sayyidina Jalaluddin Rumi that it, every bird is in a cage but if your bird is the phoenix then no cage can hold it. And that's why then these nasheeds they sing in a different way that if Imam Ali's hand is upon your hand nothing can touch you. And if, was if you have a thousand skins and Imam Ali's hand is not on your hand, the fire will go through all of them. There's not a way to protect yourself 
if Allah's beloved is not with you for if you love Sayyidina Muhammad and you truly love him with the best of character, how could you not love Imam Ali There's something wrong with the person's head and heart if that is… If, if they could even answer that. How could you not love Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq because they all love Prophet they're all the realities and custodians of this reality. Each holy companion has its reality and its dress but this Huma and this phoenix has the immensity of that quruda jabbar. They say in Asian Silat masters this is the quruda which is the phoenix and the sifat al-jabbar that dresses it. Its head and its izza is in Atiullah, Ati Rasul wa ulul amri minkum. So Atiullah means its power and its might is coming on from Allah from Ati Rasul that his whole guidance is Muhammadun Rasulullah that's why the top of it is Muhammad And from Ulul Am then the highest reality of Imam Ali and it says, Ya Ali on the wings with all his swords. So alhamdulillah has immense blessings and immense dressing. Whoever likes it alhamdulillah they're welcome to wear it. Whoever doesn't then alhamdulillah they're welcome not to. But these are the different, what, what is the word we, we said, sijils. These are different flags that will begin to appear on this earth for the presence of Sayyidina Mahdi and different people will be gathered under their flags. This is one now that is appearing upon earth inshaAllah. Uh, as alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum as salaam wa Doing the daily awrad and meditation daily, my heart feelings changing like my heart don't feel bad, don't want to answer to bad things, most of the time I'm silent, why? <laughs> during, <laughs> during the meditation you don't want to do bad, I think that was a good thing. So yeah. that's the whole thing is that, uh, that when we do the tafakkur, you're asking because the philosophy is the inside controls out. Your energy controls your hands and what you're about to say and do. So if the inside is bad of course it keeps giving a command, there's a little driver in there, is he a devil or he's an angel? If he's a devil he's driving this body and doing all sorts of crazy things. So when we do tafakkur and meditation and bring an energy in, it's a continuous energy from Divinely Presence that makes the bad one get out and the good ones start getting in and driving. So with the one who's inside struggling he needs help because all his life he's given to the bad and now the bad is driving the body. So the whole concept of, of I need support, I can't do this myself, wa kunu ma sadaqeen Allah says, have taqwa li taqullah wa kunu ma sadaqeen, keep and have a God consciousness and keep the presence of the truthful servants whom are truthful in their deeds and in their actions. So that's not for dunya, that must mean eternally at every moment keep their presence. So the madad and tafakkur is how do I keep their presence so that they're always sending fires on me, always watching out so that every time something bad their energy comes and push it away inshaAllah. And that inspires the servant towards good deeds, good actions and we have that on the levels of the ego and these different levels of the ego and their ascension. So all of the material is there for people to study and that's why I said you have to be drinking and eating from these kawthar realities. That you should be watching the videos and watching not only the daily feed but having you know more and more of what you want of understandings. If you're attracted to the energy teaching then you watch more of that every day and you absorb this kawthar ocean and see how that it changes your soul. It's the knowledge that has power. That's why the satanic side they call themselves illuminated because they believe that if they have knowledge they have power. But their knowledge is of dunya so they want to gather all the information on people and feel they have a power over the people to oppress them, 
to disinform them, to control them and do whatever they want to do with them. But for heavens it's different, we don't want dunya knowledge on people, we want from Allah's Divinely Presence, from the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad Divinely knowledges. When these Divinely lights and energies and realities come, they make the soul to be very noble. They make the soul to be not from the jungle and from the outer precincts of paradise but the inner kingdom and palace of paradise. As a result they come with all the security of paradise, they come with all the, the power and the lights of paradise and its paradise realities. That has power over dunya and everything else. So why seek something that's only on the external and, and perishing? But to have realities of haqqaiq, the haqqaiq it controls even the falsehood, it has power over everything. So better to go for the source that is all-encompassing, kulli shay, that has power over everything. So the inside controls everything, inside and out. We pray that Allah bless us and bless us to reach to those realities inshaAllah. Uh, as alaikum Allah Hazrat. Walaykum as uh, What is the difference between marifa and tariqa? These are the, the way towards reality. So you draw a circle and you put a center in your circle. The whole of the circle is, is your sharia. It's the law in which Allah has created to govern this creation. And the whole of creation is just one circle, Allah can make it expand it or collapse it. And the whole of this creation only has one center. The circumference is the sharia. And as soon as Allah inspired the servant for an understanding to rise, reach towards your reality. He teaches you then there's a radius, so you draw a line from the outer circle all the way into the center. And these are then the reality of the Rasuls. That Allah created the Prophet's uh, ancient bridges and these bridges are to link the people from the outside back into their heavenly kingdom reality. So the tariq is called a path, tariqah is the path of that Rasul. So it's a line back into the center. The way that you step on that line, so it means that the, the radius as soon as you step on that, that's your tariq, istiqamu fi tariqah. Allah mentions tariqah in Qur'an that be firm on your tariq and don't, don't leave your tariq means that you took this path of Sayyidina Muhammad and Allah gave you true guidance to reach into the center. Because the ones who are not taking tariqah they only accepted Prophet at the circumference. And that's why I say that believe and the Arabi came and said, we believe and Allah corrected. No, no, you didn't believe, you just accepted the, the point on the circumference. Not yet iman has entered into your heart, iman means now you have to take your tariq, your path, your step towards the center. Every step towards the center is a marifa. It's the way to arif to know about who, about the meme. That's why it's marifa, it's to be arif of the meme and the Muhammadan haqqaiqs. You can't be a knower of Allah that's the arrogant and boldness. But to know what Allah loves from creation is the best of creation Sayyidina Muhammad So to be a knower of the Muhammadan haqqaiqs, this is the way of marifah inshaAllah. Um, as alaikum Ya Sayyidi <coughs> Walaykum as salaam wa When violence and anarchy spreads around us, what acts of worship should we engage in? Yeah, the, what's happening now in South Africa, we, we, we warned many times that these African areas, these people are going to grab machetes and hit the road like Rwanda. These, these uh, actions that are best is charity, charity, salawats, play the salawats upon the house, make sure that the house has the taweezes on the window, on the person, 
that to make your madad, that's why all these teachings of madad and support. If you live a life of madad, 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 imagine all the time you're asking for support, you're never alone. And your home is filled with beings from Budala, Nujaba, Nupab, Awtad, Wal Akhyad, Jinni, Wa Malaika. In seven categories of, of spiritual beings will always be around that servant who their whole life was about madad and support and madad and support. So that, that energy is all around them and when they put the ta'weezes on and put all of this support then at that time of difficulty they basically tell you, lock the door, play your dalal akhirat, your Qur'an inside the house and alhamdulillah make your tafakkur and contemplation inshaAllah send from the jinn and unseen beings to guard the premises of that environment. And that's why it's so much better to practice these practices for a day of difficulty that's coming and it just comes in different places. Don't think this has ended and people take off their mask, keep the mask in your pocket you're going to need it because the variants are now popping up everywhere again and then they go back into their lockdown phase. And they found out many people who took the vaccinations they were the first ones to get sick and back into the hospitals again. So this is a, this is a way of life. And and Allah is giving this time for us now to keep our practices, keep our practices, make the connection, make your exchange now with your akhirah and give from your dunya and buy your akhirah and make your connection with akhirah until a time in which it's too late to make the bargain because the difficulty is on the streets. InshaAllah Allah address and, and bless the people in difficulties and in areas where the difficulty is very intense, inshaAllah. As Alaikum Sayyidi Wa Alaikum Salaam wa Rahmatullah Would it be acceptable for one to speak up against anyone speaking bad of holy ones? Example, someone I know spoke bad of, of the Ottomans and Ayah Sophia and I replied, please forgive me. Yeah, in physical, in physical presence it's, we are not a people to confront. It's best just to try to walk away from that association. And to always, that's why uh, many times in our, in our life people say, oh how come you don't come here and there, how come when they have an event you don't show up, how come you know, people thinking the shaykhs are like arrogant and they don't just go everywhere. But they don't go anywhere because their heart tells them there's going to be a difficulty somewhere because <laughs> the worst thing to do as the shaykh is to enter into a place where the person is going to be speaking inappropriately. Whether about Prophet about companions, about the, the shaykh, because of that they don't go anywhere without some sort of a clearance within their heart to do something like that. You end up in the wrong place, you can't get out and it's just a disaster. We did that in California, we went to somebody's mawlid and the man started to speak uh, most craziest uh, things in the world. And the last thing you want to do is be sitting there while this person is talking like that so you have to walk out and that, that's far more difficult to do that than just have stayed home. And don't go to places that you don't know who's going to be talking and what are they talking about, inshaAllah. Salaam alaykum Sayyidi Wa alaykum salaam wa How does one know for certain if they are making spiritual progress. I understand it's important to do all the external practices but how does one feel internal change, progress and growth? Yeah but it's a whole package. If you have to ask that then you don't feel it because it's not a philosophy. You give, you do, you serve, you meditate. And you're going to feel an energy come, you're going to feel like you're having a heart attack, you're going to feel like energy is all around you. Because it comes in, it's not, it's not whimsical, this is real. You just got to put your time into it and practice it and experience it and everything's real. So alhamdulillah, we got an email from our guys to do the wells and yeah, I don't know if you know if the practices were too strong on one of these guys and he was describing he's going into an area where the, there, there's water difficulties and any well that somebody else has built in there is breaking 
And so when he's going, he's saying it's scary because it was a long road with a very tall person at the end of the road. And as he's approaching, he's feeling that it's getting very heavy, he feels a blanket has come on top of him, like his heart is slowing down. And he's going through all of these difficulties to come and go to these areas. So Allah will make everything to be real, There's, this is not a philosophy class, this is not imaginary class that you do the practices and many things are going to be happening upon this earth. So then at that time you have to go back and ask yourself that, you know, you keep your wudu, do you have your taweez on you? Are you making the madad before you step out and start to play your, your salawats on your person and move into that area because if there's something is there, maybe that thing is showing itself to prevent you from coming into that area. Maybe they have put a curse on certain people there and they're trying to cause difficulty. But if you do this madad, and as for the support of these awliyaullah, they'll blow through all of that and they'll destroy the whole area just to make sure that the water arrives and that whatever Sayyidina Mahdi wants will happen. So alhamdulillah that these people are experiencing these things and making everything real for them. They have to connect, they have to keep their taweez on. This is a spiritual battle. You're going to battle without a shield, without your boots, without uh, anything on you and say, what is that? It's not, a, it's not a philosophy, it's something very real and the people have to take all of their precautions, take all of their practices, keep themselves into wudu, keep themselves in their connection, make sure that they have the connection, make sure they're playing their salawats, play their nasheeds. If you don't have a playlist, wherever you're going you should be playing it in your home, so all of these are not because we think of ways to entertain people, these are all spiritual armament, these are all spiritual necessities for people. The playlist on SoundCloud for salawats and nasheed, these are fiercely against demons. When you play those into the home, the demons have difficulty and they vacate. And when you dress yourself with madad, it's not you they're going to be scared of but the things that are following you and accompanying you. So that's what's important is to keep that practice and to feel myself to be weak and that Ya Rabbi support me with the support and begin to move into the areas that they want us to move and do what they want us to do inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon, salaamun al mursaleen, walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa siri Surat al-Fatiha